Hello friends. Maybe you are in a predicament where you're not able to find a Papillon and you really want one. And I understand this. <laughs> wow, the wind's really picking up here. I understand this because I was there. When I was around 26 or 27, I saw my first Papillon and it was in the arms of a beautiful woman who was walking around with this gorgeous dog. I had never seen a Papillon in real life before. I had only seen them in the paintings in Versailles, which is the palace in France. And King Louis XIV, who bred the Papillons, he had paintings done at the time that were very old. And I didn't know what this dog was when I saw it when I was in Paris touring Versailles, but when I saw my first Papillon, I walked up to this woman and said, oh my gosh, your dog is so beautiful. I've never seen a dog this beautiful. What kind of dog is it? And she said, it's a Papillon. And I said, oh my gosh, is that French? Because of course I saw the paintings in Versailles and didn't recognize the dog. And she said, yes, it is French. It is the word for butterfly. Anyway, I just had to have one of those. And so when I finally had a home with a yard and I could handle owning a dog, I was married and I told my husband I wanted it. And he said, great, let's get a dog. Well, I called the American Kennel Club. I called everyone. I found out that there were 1,033 Papillons in America that were registered. I couldn't get my hands on a dog to save my life. I got lists of breeders, called them all. They laughed at me. I said, I'd love to get a female Papillon. A tricolor would be nice. And they would just start laughing. They'd say maybe in a few years, maybe in six years. I never got the answer that I really wanted. And by the time my husband and I talked that evening, I said, I don't think I'm gonna get a Papillon. There is nobody to sell me a Papillon. There is no one. Now, things are a little different now. There are puppy mills. And I'm gonna tell you a puppy mill story because I liberated a puppy mill. I rescued dogs out of a puppy mill. Papillons, yes. Anyway, we'll come back to that another day, but my husband at the time said, I'm gonna get you a Papillon. And I said, I don't think you are. How are you gonna do this? And he said, well, he said, my brother used to show cats. And if we go to a show, a dog show, not a cat show, I think we'll find Papillons and then I'll find a breeder that will sell us a dog. So I said, Oh my gosh, I sure hope so. I really want a dog. And he said, all right, well, let me look into it. Let's see if, look at these kids. Are they not good? <laughs> they are so good. Anyway, he said, let's go to a dog show and let me find a breeder and I'll see. Yes, kisses. Okay, thank you. Yes, we're talking about Papillons. Do you, you do that though, of course. So, I said, let's go. So we got in the car one morning, went to a dog show, and we both split up looking for Papillon breeders. And he found a Papillon breeder first, but he was wise to the whole show thing. Now here I sit with some really beautiful girls, show quality, and you know, dogs that have points from showing. And they are wonderful. They are wonderful. But he found a breeder and she was from San Diego. And he, he said, she's got some dogs here. Let's go talk to her. So I said, okay, didn't want to get my hopes up. Walked in to her area where she was all set up. She said, I think I have a dog I can sell to you. And I was like, really and she said yes um 
that's here right now. It's a puppy. It's only eight weeks old. And she said, I don't want to let it go yet, but would you like to see her? Like, yes, I would like to see her. I held her in my arms. I named her Biscuit, which means a little cookie in French. And I held her in my arms and I cried as if it was my baby that I dropped from my own loins. I was so happy. I had a little, this is Jewel. Jewel, I held Biscuit just like this, except for she was smaller. She was much smaller, you're five pounds. And she was much smaller, she was a tiny baby. And I just cried and I think that that breeder really knew how much I wanted that dog and how I would care for that dog. And I'm sure that my ex-husband told her, listen, my wife really wants this dog. She will do anything for this dog. She will care for this dog, take this dog to work, exercise this dog, walk this dog, do everything, which I did, of course. I was so in love with this queen. And this queen became a television star. She was on a TV show with me. We just allowed her, PETA will love this, we just allowed her to come to work with us and she was allowed to walk around in and out of the shots and because it was an unscripted show, sometimes I would or somebody else in the cast would just pick up the dog, hold the dog and say, hi Biscuit or hi Biscuit the Wonder Dog or whatever, we used to call her a lot of things, but oh my gosh, she had a wonderful life and I'll show you some clips of that Welcome back to Infinite Power Workout. This is an excellent time to stretch your body and stretch your mind. Okay. We got sports, we got the bears, we got everything you want. Stay with us, we'll be right back. <laughs> wow, I enjoyed my first Kung Fu lesson. We had a really great show today. This is kind of a childhood We're fantasy this, this, of ours. This is an overgrown fantasy land we have. Well, you know what? I, I used to tell everybody that I was the big kid on the show anyway, so I'm right at home with you guys. You are, it's perfect. Yeah. For yeah. those of you just tuning in, uh, Dennis has just completed his 11th season on Saved by the Bell. It was a nice run. I just hold him in for a little while, and then I let it go. And I hold it in, and I let it go. And of course, you don't want to. TV watching, watching exercise. Actually, yeah, you can do this while you're watching TV. Stomach, Hold it in, let it go. I'll tell you what, what if you were doing that on my couch, I wouldn't be fight, watching fight, any fight, TV. Fight, but fight, we will be guys, right back guys, with thanks. the very end of Infinite Power Workout. Thank you, I had a great time. Yeah. I had a great time. Thank you. Thank you. She just brought so much joy to everybody at work all day because having a dog that you can hold will just take your stress away. It is your four-legged stress reducer. Isn't that right, Jolie? Isn't that right? You are so precious, baby. That's what I had to do to get a Papillon, and I know that there are Papillons available online. If you would like a referral for a Papillon breeder, I would be happy to help you. It is easier to get a Papillon now, but just understand, that when a litter is born, they don't always give up the dogs when they're 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 weeks old because they're waiting to see some characteristics to see if they want to show that dog or not. Sometimes from a high quality breeder, you won't get a dog until it's four months old. Now the case with this wee, and, and you know, I did breed Bisqui. I did go through all the all the channels to become a Papillon breeder with the American Kettle Club, which I still am. But I got Bisqui from a breeder, and that breeder is a fabulous person who aligns with my principles and truly loves the dogs. Some breeders see these dogs as a commodity, and they don't really see the dog as a spiritual creature. That's, that doesn't resonate well with me, honestly. I don't want to buy a dog from someone like that. So this woman really truly loves the dogs. And she had two sisters the day that I got Jolie. She had two sisters that looked almost identical. And she said, whichever one you don't take, 
I am going to make my personal pet. This is going to be my pet. I'm going to love the dog. So I knew either way, whichever dog I chose, I would be happy and both dogs would be happy. And this lady, her name is Sherry, is my friend to this day. And we are just very close. And this little dog used to be shown by Sherry and her twin sister is still being shown by Sherry and getting their points in the ring. The dogs tend to have fun with it. Papillons by nature, they love to see and be seen. So a dog show is always a good time for a dog because they know all eyes are on them. They like that. So some breeds, I can't speak for all breeds, may not, but Papillons just love to see and be seen. In fact, my first dog, Bisqui, used to go to the area where all the lights were all set up and where the cameras were pointing, and she would just go sit there. And she wanted to be in every shot. She was very funny. She was extremely cognizant of where we were shooting and what we were doing. It was so funny and she was just a wonderful dog and we incorporated her into many things because she was our family it was just wonderful to have her at work everyone loved her at work and people would come into our office go pet the dog before they would speak to us and ask if they could take the dog out you know has Bisqui gone out can i please take her out for you and she just brought a lot of joy and reduced a lot of stress Yes, this is your four-legged stress reducer. So whatever kind of dog you have, love that dog. It's a divine being and it needs your love. And dogs give love because they want to receive love. And that's the way we should all be. We're all spiritual beings. And it's just wonderful to have such love. Woo, it's wonderful to have such wind. We're having a windy time here. Anyway. Hope you enjoyed my story and I hope it brings you to a place where you know that you could probably go out and get a Papillon from a breeder that is reputable, that shows their dogs, that loves their dogs, hopefully. Follow the signs. If you don't like the person, you may not like the dog either because dogs take on the owner's characteristics. If the owner is neurotic, the dog may be neurotic. So we always want to be kind around our dogs, be gentle around our dogs, be happy around our dogs because that's what we want. We want a gentle and happy pet. And nothing like a happy pappy, right girls? This is the happy pappies. Oh yes, we are so loving. We are so loving. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. So. Yeah, I love to play with them. Anyway, go check out your local dog show and find out who the good breeders are and go get yourself a pappy on if that's what you want. And know that we love you, we love you back, and we would love to meet your dogs because we like to play, right? We like to play. You know what I always say, suffering is optional and life is what you make it. It's what you make it. Right, Jewel? Yeah, baby. Yeah. Woo woo! Silly. We're silly. Hard not to be silly when we got such funny dogs. 